Pasar 5060 Another day, another way, believe and move, you know, dodge and move like uh, um, uh, Glass Joe. Dodge and move, dodge and move. Hey, dodge your punches. Episode 5062, look at this thing. It's a medium day, it's a Sunday, it's July, and man, what happens in life? It's hard to know. Wait, 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 what, what the heck? What, what is that sound? What is that dongle thing? I can't I can't I can't I Oh, hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV. Once again, once a day, every day, turn on the machines. Forever. I'm alive. Made all the way back around here to Sunday. Who would have thought I would have made it this far? Who's thinking about this at all? I mean, it's like, hey, I didn't think that would make that far. Who's thinking at all? Um, I'm trying not to think. That's all we can do. I'm going to save my thoughts for now. I was like, oh, oh, if I have a thought, hey, save it. Don't think, don't think, save us for the program. We're going to need some thoughts when we get here. Uh, you know, lots of thoughts, lots of things. Um, I have this script today. I planned out my whole show today. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not going to Shirler Sundays this week, but I remember last Sunday I was talking to Mark over there and I said, hey, you, you always stick to your script, right? And I do stick to the script. So what's the next line? It's this. This is the line that I'm in here. Um, I'm going to acknowledge this whole medium of television while being live and all and stuff um and it's happening hey i'm I'm, uh meta i'm on a tv show did you know did you know that you're watching tv i'm on tv oh the sun's over here it's like uh yeah it's hot it's 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 to the point where you know in the summertime when it's kind of hot but it's not too hot but it could be cooler and then it's a confusing day and then you're going to go outside you're going to go celebrating the, the mediumness of the days, which is a good day to be medium. Uh, you got your 4th of July, you got your Sundays, you got your lazy Sundays, like that one guy says, and you got your regular Sundays, you know? Different kinds of Sundays. Tomorrow's Monday, which is back to the old grindstone of of, uh, of, of 9 to 5 Dolly Parton kind of life. Um, there's no... Um, uh, no trivia tomorrow, but there's a bingo now. I'm adding things, and then on Wednesdays, the other things. So now, you know, you have a thing to go look forward to on a Wednesday. You got your Tuesdays. Um, do I need more hobbies, or I just need to do the ones that I am doing? I've been knitting, but, uh, I don't know. If I'm, I might start a new book again. Should I start a new book? Um, I got some tacos. I'm not really hungry, and I didn't really move. Um, yesterday, I kind of told myself, I was like, hey, I don't need to do things. I saw the movie. I went all the way out to Shelton yesterday, and then I came back, and I was like, that's your whole weekend, you know? I, I really do think it is my whole weekend, and now what else is extra? Anything else after that is extra, but I'm doing it. I'm doing the extra thing now. I'm going to go see another movie, even though I wasn't so sure if I wanted to see it at all. Because playing at the Capitol Theater, it's called The Bike Riders, and I'm going to see it after this. Um, I found out it was a mystery movie, but I haven't been going to those. So, playing uh, a mystery movie um, instead of a regular movie. But I'm going to go see it. I mean, regular movie. 
of the Capitol Theater. I didn't see it as a mystery movie. I don't even know what it was going to be. Um, I'm going to play Deadpool. Deadpool 3 as a mystery movie. Um, yeah. We've got Channing Tatum, who's... Not Channing Tatum. Um, Bane. What's that guy's name? Mm, Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. I think he was actually British, but I mean, he can get ten years to get like this. Oh, hey, hey, what if what if my character is kind of sound like this a little bit? Which is a weird voice that he always makes, and they cast him anyway. Like, I like your voice, so I'm gonna go see him. It's gonna be that guy in Elvis, the guy that played Elvis in, I think the movie was just called Elvis, right? Um, with Tom Hanks and Elvis. That movie came out, and I saw that in Shelton a few, what, a year ago? It's been after the times. It's, uh, it, it was getting in weird times, so life is moving forward, and, like, um, I remember doing nothing, when I was doing nothing, this was, like, many years ago, now I'm sometimes doing nothing again, and get caught in these days, and I was like, oh, maybe I should have gotten up, but I, I kind of told myself I was going to do less, even not even go to this movie. Well, I found out after about an hour about. I was like, I'm gonna go do something. And now I'm doing this. And now I'm here. I made it here. Yesterday I was here. Also, on Saturday. Today's Sunday. Yesterday was Saturday. You know how time works? Yesterday I had gotten back from Shelton, and, but then I sat around for a long time before I came home. I was eating um, some katsu bowl, which was not that great. The best part of the katsu bowl was some katsu sauce, which I already have a bottle of at the house. I just be putting that on my food and then just eating that. I'm putting my own chicken and rice with katsu sauce on it. Basically, all that was chicken nuggets. So it's like cook chicken nuggets and put the katsu sauce and rice them better for the future. Um, yeah, I got these tacos on the way down here yesterday. I was here and I was talking about going to Shelton and came back and doing this thing. Talked to Mr. Gintu for a while. Uh, Mr. Gintu actually called here and then called us again. I don't know what he's going to be doing now during the daytime. I don't know if his schedule changed or what, but now he's back on it. But I can barely hear what he says and you know. So uh, when he's calling in, um, I mean, I'm, if you're watching, you're aware. And I'm just like, uh-huh, yeah. And then I'm just trying to go with whatever he's saying. And then I don't know if he knows or what I'm knowing either, but uh, it is weird. Um, I've been doing that recently, and you maybe you've been watching it. Um, we'll see if he calls again and again. He left him some messages. This is going to be like the me and Mr. Gintsu show. You can call in if you want, or you can just have Mr. Gintsu have it all. I mean, or turn it off. I guess those are your options, right? But not if you're the kids, the kids that are watching this. It's just Mr. Gintsu all out. But Mr. Gintsu is a good slice of life. Maybe I am too. Am I a good slice of life? I'm probably a bad slice. You want to get the slices? I mean, what's the difference? The slices, the, I might be a slightly bad slice, but there, you know there's only edge pieces and slices. Um, you want too big of a slice or too little of a slice or some kind of medium slice. When you're going to eat some cake, you got to decide, are you hungry for cake? Why are you trying to eat right now? I mean, usually, I'm eating for fun. If you eat for fun, then you don't need to eat for sustenance. But if you want to eat cake, and then you're like, oh, you got a lot of cake. Like, oh, I'll take the large shake. You want a small milkshake or a large milkshake? Like, oh, I want the large. It's like, you want the large milkshake? What are you trying to accomplish with this milkshake? You're trying to, to get feed yourself, or you're trying to just, like, um, taste things? Having a tasty experience. So, why not just eat a, um, a spoonful of it, or why don't you just remember what I'm coming with? You know what I'm coming with. And, um, what I'm eating right now, memories are not the same as actually doing the thing. But as you do it, it's gone anyway. 
And it's all a memory. So what are we doing anything? <laughs> what the, why are we doing anything? All you're doing is you're building your memories and then your next thing unless you're doing something for the future like I am right now. It's for you, viewers, for the future, for the children. Um, yeah. Sunday, back to it tomorrow, summer season right now, and it's happening. Um, last night after the program, I went back home to my residence. I am still knitting. I'm knitting this leg, and that's an exciting time in the leg in the, in this whole process, getting through this leg. Um, once the leg is done, then I've got another leg, and then I got two arms, and then I got to make a big decision about it after that. Um, it doesn't. I don't think it counts as um, doing things though, because afterwards it's like just like the, who, who's going to see this thing? It's like one thing. Usually I'm doing. I'm working in the, the medium of media, um, which is comes down to usually a replicable source for the masses. And uh, I'm making the sweater. There's only one sweater, but I'm doing the TV show and. I wrote that book, you know, and doing some other recordings. They become in, infinitely replicatable. And, uh, you know, some people watch some things. You watch some media and they go for a long time. People watch them a lot of times. But all you're doing is pulling that same thing. I guess anything has the potential to be pulled and then looked at, you know? There's a lot of things like that. Um, I'm getting my pills ready here. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna buy more pills. I'm gonna really run out and then I'm gonna be done. So I'm eating these pills and then I'm just gonna be having the multi-only, maybe, I don't know, D. I don't think they're doing much. Um, uh, because I got the virus Am I getting it less than others? I don't know about it. Going around, things are happening, but I'm going to eat these pills right now. And then after these pills are through, we'll see where it takes me. Um, yeah, I made a home last night. You know, sitting at home, <laughs> watching TV, sleeping, knitting, reading, a little bit of games. Um, and then... Waking back up. I slept in quite a bit. I remember when... Oh, what the? Two Ds. Two Ds. Oh, my God. Did I, did I get my D yesterday? It makes me nervous, but I don't want to do it anymore. I'm just going to wean myself. I'm going to wean. Um, yeah, I made it home just doing that thing. and uh, I told myself today I was going to sleep in. and I used to be a uh, night person for years and you can see it now you know I think I've become a day person and it's a weird thing other people are day people I didn't think I would ever be a one of them but I feel like I'm one of them now and then yeah the night people the day people um, different worlds and then I'm living in their world, so it's like some of an unfamiliar world, but we all had this different world, but that was like years ago now. I think thing was, was a whole, it was four years ago. And it's like, what's like after this, you know? It's like this, you know, you're all, we're all in a, um... Everything back, records happening. You know, people are watching the Olympics in France. I'm not convinced that France is real. Um, the other day, I was, <laughs> I got the three camera, I'm taking some pictures, and I tried to get somebody to take a picture of me while I was jumping, and... I fell just from jumping. I was jumping off like a two or three foot little block. And I did not stick the landing and I fell down. I'm fine though. But I didn't land on my feet. 
and uh, maybe I should move. I've been, I haven't been moving. I could go for a walk. I haven't been moving. Like a walk. How do you know? How do you know, Mr. Ginsu? He's gonna try to leave some messages. Did you know I was gonna? <laughs> uh, oh, oh! Did you know I was gonna be here? Son of a bitch! The scene was the eaters, and we got a royal bus. Yeah, the meat eaters. Yeah. Um, the like uh, four inches long, maybe five inches long. And so whenever we do, one of them that are right off, put that in the cabin right now, or if you depend on what end of that fucking thing, he's gonna stick one in the eye, fucking to the right. What the fuck? Yeah, your phone is cutting in and out a little bit. Oh, my dick! <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> I heard that that last thing when you were yelling, but um, God damn it! Oh, I can understand. Anyway, the guy's gonna get a fucking wire wheel, um, the phone from the wire wheel in his leg or in his eye. He told me to use a wire wheel uh, brush on the weed too. A wire brush. A wire brush on the weed is. We did a wire brush on the one in his eye and his leg. Whenever one of them phones breaks off. What and he's got no part on the weed eater. Yeah, who did that? I saw it on YouTube. Yeah, you were watching YouTube and saw a guy and you shouldn't be you, you shouldn't be doing that? Well, they think he's genius. Hey, why are you Fucking hell of a plastic shit, except for that that thing's running around fucking umpteen thousand miles an hour, and, uh, goddamn, he's, he's getting in there while it's running? What? He's getting up in there with the brush while it's running? He's using a weed eater with a wire brush wheel on it, Right? So instead of having that one line stuck out, now he's got a wire brush wheel stuck on that thing, and now he's trying to use it as a weed whacker. Oh, that's going to fly out. But so yeah, one of them little wires breaks off, it's going to stick in his leg or his eye or his face, depending on where that thing's pointed. Now that's all I'm saying. Fuck off. They think it's a, they make it look like it's a really good idea. Right up until you have one of those little wheels things break off and stab you off and you may or may not even know you got stabbed when you get that thing whipping in there and then it gets all infected oh they fuck it's a bad bad idea all the way around they need to put a guard on it, it, it it's a leaf yeah don't do that also, yeah don't really do that not only to see, oh yeah, they say it's ready to cut off. Yeah, he's telling, he's telling people that's a good idea? I think so. Uh-oh. They're going to get, uh, what's going to happen? They're going to get the thing? I mean, how do you even do that? You got to shove it up in there? There's no way to, to, to secure it in there. Well, he made it so that fucking he could stick it on to the weed eater. What's the what's the positives of that? It's supposed to be better than the wire? Yeah, it's supposed to be better than the plastic wire. It's got a whole, like, eight or ten little, um, strands in the wrap strands, the braided strands, and they're like cables that stick out from the spinny thing. Yeah. And it's about five inches, and uh, you can it spins around like a saw blade, except the the cables. And when one of them cables breaks off, fuck off. You ever? He's getting chunks of that thing in your leg. You ever been using a weed weed, weed whacker, and you're like, 
Man, I wish this weed whacker was stronger, because I haven't. Um, it's not stronger, it's um, less safe. Even though the metal strings, they'll tear shit up right up until they break, or a piece of it breaks off and sticks in your leg or in your eye, or in somebody else's eye, standing there 20 feet. Yep, yep. I think that that metal or the plastic thing is um, good enough. Like, uh, why do you need anything else? Uh, because they kind of have good ideas and make money for inventing, inventing stuff. Yeah. Don't it's fix it. You don't need to fix it. It ain't broke. It's so it's just, they need to put a guard on that thing. And it works really it good without the guard, but uh, still need to put a guard on it. That's a different tool. That's a whole different tool that you got there. Then you just get it. Why don't you just get it like a lawnmower or like a? It, it's more like a lawnmower than a freaking weed. Yeah. Well, However, it's like I say, when every one little strand breaks off, oh, it's not like six, twenty strands or something in each little fucking thing that sticks off there. And when one little strand breaks off, that's when we got the problem. Danger. So anyway, beyond that, um, very hell, all hell, I just fixed water. I've been water leaking for a long time. My back hurt too bad. All sorts of bullshit. I just fixed it. I found, they got new plumbing bullshit, motherfucker. At that rental? No. Over there, it's the old True Value Hardware. They got plumbing issues? Plumbing issues. True Value Hardware. They got the shit, motherfucker. At, at the store? The they got the good stuff. Fucking, all I had to do is plug that shit in. Holy oh, hell. You just put it right next to the other pipe after you slam the one pipe because um, you got to clean it up, right? You got to slam it, clean it up. And then all you do is you plug the other pipe right into that motherfucker, that fitting they got. Holy fuck. And that's it. It's a plug, you motherfucker. Fuck off! Yeah, what are you re-plumbing? All I know is it didn't leak. <laughs> Holy fuck. In your trailer? Outside my trailer. You gotta do some plumbing? I did some plumbing. Yeah. I did it. What happened to the original plumbing? It was leaking. It got frozen a little bit, I guess. Once the piece is cracked, and some of the pipe is crimped, so I cut the pipe off and cleaned it up. Um, plug it. Yep. It's a plug in, motherfucker. You, it just goes right over the top of the pipe. You clean the pipe up, nice and fair. You shove it right on there, like fucking, oh my god, like, it, it, it's so simple and fucking a baby could do it. Like some kind of, like, epoxy or something? Pardon me? It's like an epoxy? No, it's a fitting, a fitting for the water. You know, the water pipe is like a half inch or three quarters or three eighths or something? Yep. You have like a half inch pipe, they got a fitting for a half inch. Pipe, a bare pipe with no threads on it, and you just put some sandpaper on there and hand it down with nice and clean, and ram that fitting on there, and it just bites, bites right onto that fucking pipe. Fuck off! And, and I saw they actually have a tool. You can push it on that little plastic thing on the end, and you can take it apart. No more leaking. No more leaking. And it comes in the dirt. It's got the little tool. Well, that's good that you actually fixed the thing. How did you, how did you find the leak? Um, doing a bunch of water on the ground. Right? Standing water on the ground and it ain't raining. <laughs> What's that tell you? And then you found it, huh? Somebody got a big bladder. Somebody got a fist right here. Well, the water's leaking. No, and there's, yep, so, 
That's what it is, motherfucker. Was it underground? I fixed it. Was it underground? Underground. Yeah, did you have to dig it up? A little bit. Told me how you did. I didn't have to call because I already know where I took that and I'm digging in my hand. Took off. I ain't calling for a dig, but digging in my hand. Well, and you saw it, water? I so know. How did you know where the pipe was? You started digging? No. No digging. Really, I just dug in my hand. So the pipe's not too far down there, huh? Yeah, it's not that far, but fucking. It was bad enough. So bad. I mean, it should be down a little bit farther than that, like, than like inches. Boy, it's like a foot and a half down there. You dug a foot and a half hole with your hand? That's right. <laughs> That's a, a, a big hole. Well. <laughs> yes and no. I'm a badass motherfucker. Yeah. Um, I, I don't fuck around. I don't mind not fucking around. Maybe it was the trowel. You didn't have a trowel? Nope, I haven't had one. That's a lot of digging. How's and your how's your back after that? Perfect. Great. Uh, something up. cracked back then. Something let loose again and uh, I'm ready to go at it again next time they fucking want me to work real hard. Yeah, did you have to shut down the water somewhere? I did. I took the water off. Wow. Fuck, don't need water. So, yeah, we just took the water off. Absolutely. Wow. Um, it, happened, it happened to be right there, so it was really easy. I didn't have to go hit, hit nothing. I didn't have to go off the manager to shut the water off. The water it shut off that was right there. I mean, aren't they supposed to do that? Like at your trailer park? Aren't they supposed to fix that kind of thing? Only, no. It's from, from that pipe where the leak is at, from the pipe to my house, and my, my fucking shit. And once it actually hits that pipe, if that pipe starts leaking, well, that's their shit. Alright? Wow. My shit, my shit was leaking, so my dude. I ain't gonna fucking argue. Yeah, you're, gonna fix. you're a plumber. <laughs> and I fixed it so easy, it was fucking, I couldn't even believe it. I can't, I still can't believe it. I should be down there in the hole right now, trying to get these wrenches down in there, fucking, that won't fit. Too <laughs> fucking, too the Fucking, there ain't no room down in there. God damn. Is this like a new, it's a new machine or something? Or that they, a new piping way? It is, mostly. It's newer than most. Um, they, they, I've seen them around for years, but it's still the newer stuff. And it's fucking badass. Modern plumbing. And that one, I just found out about it, and it's badass. So it almost makes me want to go be a plumber. Because everything would be so fucking easy. It's, Start plugging shit in, fucking like to plugging a fucking cord into the light socket. It's not easy. I mean, yeah. Uh, I, mean, I think everything should be pretty easy. As, I mean, other than like the actual work of it, but um, you have to. Uh, well, nothing is fucking easy. They fucking fuck everything up. Fuck off. If I don't say I'm up to find something, then it will be easy to it'll be my way. And there'll be plenty of space for everybody and everything. Fuck off. You have to um, wade through a lot of shit. Yep. If you're a plumber. No. That's the truth. That's not good. No. Kidding me. How's that? How's that sewer pipe that's close to your house? It's still stinky. Yeah. I smell it once in a while, but mostly the way the trees are, it flows around. And I've been over on the neighbor's porch before the neighbor lives there. He lives, the neighbor that he lives there now, I, I've been on the porch whenever somebody else lived there. And I smell the 
ซึ่งจะว่าก็จึงผู้ชายเอาไม่พูด You can smell it. You can go right over to the airport. Check it out. We can smell it inside your place. I'm just glad I don't live there. Huh? How? I mean, how many trailers is it away from you? It's bearable where I live, even though I do smell it sometimes. Like a cock man. You gotta be fucking me. Yeah. <laughs> do you smell it inside? I do not smell it inside mostly. Sometimes, uh, yeah. but uh, outside it's definitely fucking. Yeah. Oh my god. I don't know if you can smell it. That might be a. Um, I mean, like a um, biohazard. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yes. No. It's got a vent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh and there is a whole bunch of trailers stuck in the one fucking hole. Must yeah. be on septic. You must be on septic because you're far out, so far out in the woods, right? It's a shared septic. <laughs> yeah, because you're out in the middle of the woods, right? Yeah. <laughs> What's this? It's fucking not fucking clean ass. Or stinky. It don't make it stink less. Huh. Although they do have that one kid on TV. And, uh, what the fuck is that called? Stink, stink holes, stop stink holes, like in the uh, spot. Stink hole. Oh, poop. Stink hole. Did you ever use poop? One, one more time. Did you ever use poop? Poop? Oh, yeah. P O O F. Poop? Or P O F. Poop? Poop. No, I don't. What is that? It's a poop-free stuff that you can uh, spray around your, in your car, around your house, around your tongue, and. On the armpit, or in your crotch, or all over the carpet. If your carpet stinks like animal poop, you spray that shit all over the carpet, and your the stink disappears. <laughs> You're spraying that on yourself as well? No. However, <laughs> I do. I have used it, and it is awesome. You used it as a deodorant? I have. I no. I can neither confirm nor deny that statement. However. That's not the intended purpose, and I do not. I I do not do that. I use it on the carpet, and it does it does a great job. Yeah, when you have animal piss on your carpet, you don't have any animals. The one people in that little house had dogs. Oh and yeah. I went, yeah. House, I went in the house. And I went. Oh fuck! You are about to be fucking me. And then I saw that poo commercial, so I got some. I went over. It took two bottles. Ooh, ooh. But uh, yeah, I, I, you couldn't smell it. And I went, "What the fuck is that? That's what works so good. Oh my god! It was perfectly good carpet, except for the whole house stunk like fucking dogs." Fuck. Wow. What? What the fuck, man? <laughs> They were asshole people, anyway. Those people fucked us over so bad. But they're gone now, right? Cause they're gone now. They wanted to come back. They said, "Oh my God, do you understand what we did? We moved out of your house, and we can't harass you no more, and we can't fuck you, fuck you guys no more, and uh, we want to come back." What? They moved away and then called you? Yes. They got neighbors now, and the neighbors uh, do not like them. Put that way. The neighbors are like, you gotta be fucking kidding me! Sorry, I'm sorry, you people out there. They're not my deal no more. Uh, and I am so sorry because they are such people. Why do you know about your former tenant's relationship with their neighbors? <laughs> um, 
I'm not doing the great buying of that. Yeah, all right. Um, yeah, yeah. No, they called back. Said, can we please, please come back? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, yeah, it's kind of sad, but like, yeah, everybody's renting. There's like a renting crisis or something, housing crisis, you know? I don't know what. Those people fucked us over. Yeah. They left so bad. My mom told them you're not getting your fucking deposit back. Yeah. They were so pissed off. They thought, and they said, okay, we're not getting our deposit back. We're going to make you go to the dump, spend the money going to the dump. We're going to make you clean the place, spend the money cleaning the place. We're going to make you replace these three or four doors, three or four doors that we punch holes in. And, uh, fuck, if, if I'd have known how much damage I would have thrown that guy back down the stairs, if yeah. I'd have known how much damage we'd have done that out. And that's what the deposit's <laughs> for, though. You're supposed to use the deposit to put towards fixing the house after they leave, right? Well, see, at some point, he said they come to that deposit money and give it to them. And, uh, so they used up half of the deposit money before they left on something, I don't know what it was, but uh, uh, my mom was never supposed to use that money for that. She could have took it out of her own money, but my mom was an idiot. She now knows that you're not supposed to do that, but uh, whatever. Yeah. She found big fucking uh, landlord and it backfired on her. Yeah. Well, there's a, I mean, right now there's a housing crisis. I'm not, I feel like pretty, we're lucky. I'm lucky because you have a house and you don't have to be, like, you've never been concerned about losing your house or anything. So just have a roof is like something to be happy about. Like, uh, cause a lot of people are struggling to get a place to live. Right. Um, I don't know what to say about that. The, the, the last people we've had, I don't even like the fact that we have to rent the people. I don't even like being in the business. Then people just ruin me. And we had other people in there that we had to kick out and or sell the leaves or fucking bullshit. The neighbors of the people that fucked with us that I just told you about, their neighbors, who so those who never got along. Um, geez, I don't even know what to say about that. But, uh, dealing with people like that, what the fuck? Yeah. Oh, God. Not, oh, my God. Not easy. Be... Um, I didn't ask for none of this, and I've been crippled most of the time, so I have really, really not been enjoying myself. Yeah. I am just, I am just now within the last week to month, um, Within a little more week than a month and a couple of weeks, maybe, but uh, my back. What the fuck did I just see? I saw, I could have sworn I saw a bunch of flags being burnt on the ground. A bunch of flags? Um, American flag burnt somewhere on the news. Might be. Washington, D.C. What the fuck? Co Palestinian demonstration? Fuck! Co Palestinian is burning the flag! Yeah, I mean, uh, hippie, hippies have been burning that flag since the 60s. The, um, you, you, are you uh, personally offended by the flag burning? Huh? You don't like the flag burning? What the fuck are you burning the American flag for? Fuck off! Yeah, hey, it's a Co Palestinian protest thing, and if they're burning the flag, they need to get the fuck out of the United States, motherfucker. Yeah. So I'll find, find out, actually, which country burnt that flag. Oh, uh, I think I see it. He's wearing a mask. Fucking can't see him. Fuck off. Burning the flag is not doing anything to anybody, though. It's kind of a useless thing to be doing at all. They're just kind of burning their own thing and wasting their own time. You, you think that they're going to be doing anything? Like, why would you... Fuck off! The meaning of American is the symbol of my freedom. What freedom? Like, you keep bringing up the freedoms. I don't know what freedom. You think I have freedom? 
People died, you telling me people died for nothing? All the soldiers fought for us, died for nothing because... Who died? Who died for what? In what war? You think like in World War II? In Europe? Every single war we fought. Yeah, and you, those are all good and wars and, and like, important wars that were fighting somewhere else. Like nobody ever fought in the country. You want to go over to uh, Vietnam? <laughs> Iraq? You think Iraq is even a real place? Yeah. Yeah. Why well, you let them burn a flag and then they're not burning down? Uh, they're, if they're burning a flag, then they're do, doing useless gestures, not helping anybody else anyway. But they can, you know, do their own. They're like, American. They don't need to be here. Why is that on the on, even on the um on the on the thing at all? I'm more offended when people are co-opting the flag into their own for their own things. Like you don't need to be using that. Like people are, you know, they have the cops and they put the fake the. The flag with the different colors on it, that's offensive to me. You're not supposed to change the colors of the flag. Yeah, I don't like that. No, no, no. The flag, our flag is flag, man. From color. Okay. And if they want to try to make their flag, it's, uh, I think that blue flag is what you're talking about, right? Yeah. But they're burning, the people that are burning the flag, they're, affi- they're like, trying to offend people, I guess if you are pr- on purpose, they're trying to say, like, uh, you know, they don't, that they're against whatever you're doing, and then if you listen to them and be like, oh, they're doing it! That's, uh, then that's what they want to happen. They should not be burning the flag to make that point. <laughs> yeah. If you go to goddamn one of them things you speak into, a, mic- a megaphone, if you look at a megaphone and say what they mean, you burn my flag. I want to. I kind of want to burn you. <laughs> yeah, because of your rights. Because you want your rights so much. That's right. What? Freedom. What? What? <laughs> what, what, what <laughs> rights are you are you defending? I keep asking. I, I've been asking you this for a while, but like I don't know what rights that <laughs> you're defending. Freedom. freedom. What, Motherfucker. What is freedom? What does that mean? <laughs> my choice. My body. My choice. Not. You get to decide that fucking if I'm gonna have a baby or not, or fucking kiss my ass. You don't have a baby. You don't have anything to do. What are you doing that you? What are you doing that anybody's gonna stop you from doing? You don't need baby. Fuck off. Nobody's going There's choice. Nobody's gonna try to stop you from doing anything. You can do whatever you want in your own space because nobody knows what you're doing. You don't need the government to tell you what you can or can't do either way. You're correct. So you what kind of thing I'm doing you like to do? If I want to do a thing and the government is telling me I can't do it, I'm doing it anyway. I have my own freedom. I don't need I don't need the government freedom. They don't have there's not there's not a freedom. It's that you can do whatever you want because nobody cares. Everybody should care. <laughs> yeah, they should, but nobody cares what you're doing. So like you have freedom, you got all the freedom <laughs> in the world. Unless you're talking theft or crime. If you're not doing theft or crime, you're not commit crime, nobody gives a fuck. But you can... Post, except for people do. The, the, pe- the phone call people, they call the police, and then the police have to go over and check on you because fucking somebody, somebody made a phone call. Now people those, do crimes all the time. Those people uh, charged with making a false police report, right? The people who call or the people sitting in the car doing nothing, just kind of eating or fucking, you know, they're coming, fuck off. While, while not driving, or using the internet while driving, they're not doing that, so they're sitting on the side of the road using the internet, and now they got cops coming. What are you doing? What now? It's crazy. Hey, fuck off. Well, yeah. they ain't gunshots coming out of this car. Fuck. They're trying to take your freedom. Mm-hmm. They're trying to take you, take away your freedom. They're not giving you freedom. There's more freedom mm-hmm. and, and <laughs> less laws mm-hmm. and less stuff going on. There's, there's more freedom. You don't think they have the right to burn the flag? That's not one of their rights. The what? I, they have the right if they want to burn a flag. That's their right, and they bought the thing. But um, the no, 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 <laughs> no. The flag is un-American. 
but they have the freedom well, if they don't want to do that. That's because you can be. Um, I think it's more American to be critical of your own uh, of your government. And or myself, I just made a mistake, and I'm going to correct my mistake. Technically, the flag was on the ground, and once the flag has hit the ground, it's now illegal to burn that flag. Yeah. So, on that note, I am not really mad at the guy anymore to, even though he may have thrown the flag on the ground, the flag was on the ground, it wasn't flying high and on fire. It was on the ground, on fire, nobody gives a fuck. Um, except for, there should be a ceremony for the flag being burnt, except for it was a semi kind of cer- ceremony because a bunch of people were around. So, yeah. <laughs> yep. You want to, you, I mean, I hear, did you ever try to join the military? I did at one point, I was going to join, and they said, you cannot fly a plane because you did not join when you were six years old. Is this, is this something you, I don't remember you being so defensive about America in the past. Well, that's because I've been distracted with all the fucking tickets I got from all the bullshit, bull fucking kidders. Getting done pointed at me and bullshit for no fucking reason. Yeah. Uh, now, I, now that I know that's illegal, and I should have gone directly to the police department, told them fuck off, and got that guy fired. Yeah. And or went up to fucking. So the force. You yeah you at the I mean they're not helping. I don't think the cops are helping, but um, they're the ones that are going to be defending that stuff like more. <laughs> it's like. like it's, it's, Excessive force. I mean, the people who are burning the flags don't like the police, and you, it's not, I mean, I don't know, would you like the police? Cause... Well, see, I like the police right up until you see them violate people's rights and yeah. not give a fuck while they're doing it and trying to ruin the person's life while violating their rights, and then that person has to go to court and defend themselves. But you think they're? Well, I think they're. You don't think that they're defi- I think they're 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 violating rights more than uh, than not. Uh, well, yeah, I couldn't say as far as I know that answer. Do not know. I mean, you've you been on the bad end of it your whole life, right? You certainly hope that's not true. Um, if I find out it is true. Then we should just start the civil war right now. Against the cops? <laughs> uh, yeah. If that's true, if they do 90% fucking violate your rights and 10% get bad guy, uh, fuck off. That's tyranny and treason. Treason at the least. <laughs> and the tyranny and treason. Do you, do you not think that's already happening? It's because I think it's kind of already happening, but I'm not going to try to uh, uh, fight a war, but, uh... Well, nobody wants to, but, uh, guess what? You know, if that is the fucking deal, and it, you can't really lie to my face if I see it with my eyes. You All understand right. what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know. I'm just, uh, I, I just trying to get through. I'm not trying to get too, I don't want to get too political. Yeah, I get it. I don't like it either. Fuck, uh, I can't stay away from that shit myself, but fucking, uh, I've been seeing a lot of it on TV and wherever you get your news bullshit. Yeah, I uh, think, I mean, TV is lying, dude. <laughs> some of it's true, and some of it piss a guy off. Yeah. I don't know, I think they're all okay. And you got a place where I can come talk and tell you how pissed off I am a little bit here and there. Yeah. Fucking, God damn. <laughs> All right, well, uh, it's happening in the world. I'm, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm here at least I'm trying to get away from it a little bit. But, uh, you know, it's always coming around. It's all over the place. Um, right, well, <laughs> I try not to be an asshole, but I can... It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Who's going to make the decisions and do the stuff? I don't know what the difference is. I mean, it never usually gets down to me because, like I said, you didn't hide away for most of the... and not have to deal with any of that stuff anyway. Because when was the last time, like... I don't know, I never interact with any anybody who's going to stop me from doing it, anything either way, for the most part. Except for that guy that came over and asked you if you were drunk, 
So he was ready to stop your ass. Yeah, that was his, his neighbor, but that, and that was like a long time ago, but he... Yeah, he was ready to stop you. Right? If, if alcohol had had any part of that, cops were showing up. I didn't... <laughs> Uh, they would have been okay, though. I mean, I think we would have just talked them away, but, um, you... Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. He got there and figured out he's the only one that cut, cut his mouth. But, uh, otherwise, if, if he didn't see any alcohol, he would have been all fucking sorts of hairy balls. Alcohol's legal. Pardon? Alcohol is legal. I understand that. Um, from... I don't think you're, what do you say? I think you're drunk. Well, well, what are you doing here? Um, I wanna, um, I wanna kill the message of the future. He, he talked about it, he said he was drinking the drinking in public. <laughs> drunk in public, huh? Yep. That's, a, that's a hard crime to pin. Well, it's not as hard as you think. All we gotta do is. Uh, have a guy like that, call the cops, and then he's fucking, and, uh, everybody's drunk, but, I mean, yeah, there's a whole group of people. My future. Hey, what's going on, future? New table, table. shoes throwing. Who's shoes, whose shoes are in this room? Do you know already now? Did you make it? Did you go to the fair by future? Somebody, somebody threw their shoes in the root in this room. Did they stink? I, I didn't smell them. <laughs> they don't stink so bad that I can smell them from four feet away. So, well, I like to I come back and I'm running. I had fucking nose problems from the stink coming out of 80 feet. You got nose problems. Um, I'm going to record the message in the future. Here it goes. Hey, future is just the past. What do you have to say to the future? I put I'm serving water. I'm talking to him and talking to him about politics. Serving water out of the seat, motherfucker. My future. I'm a conservationist. I serve the water. <laughs> You're a conservationist? I am. I used to be, and I still am, but, uh... Yep, yep. Well, you, you're gonna, you're gonna save the environment? I like the environment. Many, many hours out there. Yeah. The environment that I spent, you know, I spent. Uh, well, I don't, I don't even know what to say now. I don't like the environment. Um, well, I've been there and I'm flat on my back and been in my environment for the last eight years. The last eight years, different, so. Protecting the um, environment, but you're, you're conserving by fixing that pipe. Yep, yep, trying to help. Yep, yep. All right, well, we're getting down to it. We only got about five minutes left today. I'm just doing, giving the opportunity, the money, the money and the opportunity, and the, giving the opportunity, if enough money, I'll just fix shit. That took all right. <laughs> I still don't know what, what anybody's trying to stop you from doing that you're doing. I tell you, motherfucker. Like, you think that you're in control or something, but I'm not in control, motherfucker. What, what, what would you want to do that anybody is trying to stop you from doing? I can't really say. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is, but I got rights no. and I want them. I yeah, but I'm not really wanting to say it because then I look like a wiki. If you say what you are trying to keep, <laughs> I'm trying to save space by fucking not saying. Uh, all right, um, that's okay. Uh, okay, well, it's what you're, uh, 
What else is going on? Where's your, uh... Because I admit, my back still hurts a little bit, but fucking, I'm trying not to fucking... Uh, think on that, and I'm only trying to get good thoughts. The fucking guitar is tough. But I like to be positive as I can. My back hurts so much less that I'm not always aggravated. Pain not there to aggravate me. Right? Are you watching YouTube? No. I'm yeah. talking to you. Yeah, no, but no, not right now, but you were before, right? Where'd you, you're watching like the, the lawn mowing guy? That's right. It's the uh, weed eater. And the little metal sword is going to come off that fucker and stab you. And you're going to wish you fucking did not use that thing without a guard. Yeah, well, you could watch some of, some of the program. It's uh, on there, too. You can find it on YouTube. Yep, yep. I found it. <laughs> you did? You've been watching? You can tune back yeah. in, because I don't think you were... You haven't watched since Cable went away in, like... 2012. Remember when in 2012 when they when they switched to digital and there was no more analog cable? That's the last time you were watching. Right. Yeah. Remember that? I took it away. I it. I found it on YouTube. Yes. All right. Well, that's good. Uh, it's YDSWM. You guys do your brake backwards. Do what? Your brake is backwards. The brake? The brake. The date? Yeah, we do. That's because of, um, because of computers. Oh, fuck. They read shit backwards? Well, because if you put the, um, the date first, if you don't put the year, if you don't put the year first, then all the, the dates don't line up right. So usually you put the month, the month and the date and the year. But then if you do that, then all of your files are sorted by month instead of year. Oh. How about that? Okay, well now I know. I'm yeah. like, this don't make sense. <laughs> because if you, if you put the, um, I mean, that does not make sense if you put the year first, then it sorts it by the number. So you, if you don't put the year first, and you're putting all the months, and then when you go back and look at your files, everything is sorted by month instead of year. All right. I thought if I had paid real close attention, I could have told whether it was uh, the month first or the day first. Um, it's 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 year, month, day, because you got to go from biggest to smallest. Um, but the show's about over. Thanks for thank you for talking to us today. And I didn't listen to any of your messages. So I, I'm listening to them when you're. Not here, but keep leaving them. And uh, everybody else, you can call in too. Mr. Gintz has been the only one that's been calling, which is fine with me. But if you want to call, you can you can also call and leave messages, viewers. Um, you just have to get in line and wait your turn. Yeah, get, get in line behind Mr. Gintz. You're the only one leaving messages. After. I mean, you still were. We didn't have anybody leaving messages for a couple of years there. Um <laughs> I was distracted and my back hurt so bad. Yeah. My, my mom's been keeping me busy with her real house. That's good. To, it's good to stay busy, though. You got to do something. What'd you do today? You didn't go fix those houses or did you fix that pipe? Was that, was that today? I can't believe how memorable I've been and how good of an attitude I have. What, what the fuck? When did, you, when did you fix that pipe? Was that today? Yes. Yeah. Didn't take that long, either. Especially once I got back and put it all together. That one piece saved me fucking half hour, 45 minutes with a fucking around. All you had to do was buy it. Yeah, yeah. And you can sandpaper to clean the pipe. Fuck off. Alright. Um, well, we didn't want anybody else getting through this thing. Tomorrow's Monday. Today's Sunday. It's going to be the fair. We didn't look at Lake Fair. We're still looking at that tape. Got a lot of tapes. Show's over. We made it. Thank you. Yep, yep. You're welcome. Next time I put in place in my head, it will be like, yeah. It's Sunday. Yeah. 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 Yeah.